Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing Destiny 2. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and salutations. Today, the legend continues. Let's get to it. The Legend Sundial, starting this week, has a new boss, and it is Inotam Oblivion's Triune. Now, it is not that different from any other Sundial or Legend Sundial. It has recommended power of 950, which everyone should be able to attain relatively easily with a soft cap at 900 and a powerful cap at 960, with the pinnacle being, of course, 970. And that's nothing to say about the artifact or additional power you get from the artifact. Now, as with any other Legend Sundial, there is no matchmaking, so you have to bring your own team in. And to some extent, I can understand that, but for most of the part, there should still be matchmaking. And it is still a bit of a thorny subject with me, because I think there really should be matchmaking. The only reason why there shouldn't be matchmaking is that you have some yahoos that come in with no anti-barrier or no unstoppable rounds. No way to stagger those champions. And that is a problem. Everyone should come in with at least one, either anti-barrier or unstoppable rounds. And if you want to come in with both, then you're that much more useful than the ones that only have one or none. And that is the only reason why you shouldn't have matchmaking. And that is relatively minor in the big scope of things. For the uninitiated, if you haven't noticed already, when you stagger, barrier, or unstoppable champions, all of a sudden, all sources of damage are increased. So if you do not stagger these champions, they're not going to do, you're not going to do extra damage either with supers or with abilities or with weapons. Doesn't matter if you're using a power weapon, doesn't matter if you're using a rocket launcher, grenade launcher, it's not going to do as much damage as if they are staggered. So you do some damage on the barrier, barrier comes up, take the barrier down, and then they get staggered. Now if you wait too long, they'll get their health back or the barrier will automatically come down on its own and they won't stagger. And then of course you have to go through the whole cycle again. But if you stagger them, then that's the time to pull out the super or the power weapon or whatever, the shotgun, and take them down. Same thing with unstoppable. And if you're not sure, just look at the left hand side of your screen and it'll say, so-and-so pierced the barriers or the champion's barrier or so-and-so staggered the unstoppable champion. So as soon as you see that, that's your window of increased damage. Other than that, everything is going to run just like a Legend Sundial would. You know, you're going to have those that go in, those that hang back. Uh, that way the team never wipes completely and you get kicked back to orbit. Now you do have to finish that bar on the upper left hand side. You have to fill it out within three activities. If you do not fill it out by the end of the third, you're going to be kicked back to orbit anyway. Now of course, as I said before, the boss for this Legend Sundial is Inotam, which is the collection of all three of the previous bosses. As such, the mechanics are slightly different. You go into the corridor of time, you do a little bit of damage, and then he teleports you to one of the three flares. Take them out, all you have to do is damage them until they go down. There will be more adds, and of course, they'll be tougher than a regular sundial. So it will take a little bit longer to take these, these guys out, and a little, a little bit longer to take these flares out when you get teleported. Once you take them out, you get teleported back, and then you'll have to control the plate, either one, two, or three, depending on how many flares you've defeated. Control that plate, and not everyone should be on the plate. If everyone's on the plate, you're doing something wrong, because that is ideal for Inotam to take you out. Uh, he likes to start doing combinations where he'll do a bubble and then he'll do fireballs or a bubble and then lightning. And that is a very good way to get taken out because you'll be stuck in the bubble trying to get out and then the lightning comes and then you're dead. And if you're all crowded together, you're all going to get taken out. So there should never be six people on any plate. There should be no more than three or four on a plate at any given time. And that includes the activities leading up to Inotam as well. But once you have those plate or plates controlled, then it's damage phase. Do damage, once you do enough, he'll go immune. Shield will come up, he'll teleport you, take out the next scion, same thing. Control the plates, shield goes down, damage, shield goes up. He'll teleport you to the third and final Scion, take out that Scion, and then you get teleported back, control all three plates, shield goes down, 
and you take them out. Congratulations, you finished the Legend Sundial within a TAM, and you get one Pinnacle weapon as a reward, plus your three other drops if you have all the perks. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media, and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Guardian down. This battered Mercury is a blueprint for our system. Lightless, bowed, and nothing more than fuel for an endless war. It must never come to pass. Legion's flares tap into the Vex network. There is no telling what probabilities they could bring to the fore. Take those access points before they do. Guardian down. Guardian down.
years in the forest, I chased the horizons of Mercury. I had hoped to touch the ancient wisdom of the Traveler, but it did not know me. As I approached, it drifted ever farther from my grasp. But here, to look up and see nothing, they're sealing the forest. No! Utilize their arc charges, overload their containment systems. This must be how the Fallen felt. Guardian, their plans cannot be allowed to progress. Guardian down. Guardian down. Guardian down. without the Vex is a good future for humanity. But to simply trade the Vex for the Cabal, there is no gain. Even when the Red Legion's goals overlap with ours, we cannot align with them. One final obstacle, Guardian. Crush this flare and break the Legion's hold here. Collapse this existence. down.
down. down.
Guardian down. Guardian down. plans they had are rubble now. I will see what intentions I can decipher from the ruins. Well fought. <laughs> <laughs> 